Okay, now forgive me whilst I just like stand up here and make a ton of excuses as to why I haven't made a video recently, you know, I mean, just stand the things. Uh, busy as hell, too many things on, working hard, you name it, things for the family, things with all my social engagements and stuff, and it's all been rather hectic. So I haven't made a video for a while, so I'm sorry about that, but hey presto, I know you guys miss me terribly, terribly, terribly. And so I'm here, and yes, I'm getting back to the other channel soon, and so on and so forth, which I really wanted to do before, but I couldn't because work was getting in the way. Uh, started with a new agency, or getting a bit hectic, never mind. Okay, so... Uh, I was doing a series of videos about um, Christianity because I know that some of you people have had issues with Christianity, possibly going back to childhood and various different issues you've had with school and that's one of the reasons why you hate it and that's fine, you know, that's just the, the, the conclusions that you came to. But what I wanted to do was to tell you about what I've been learning about as a result of being a part of this other dimension, this other level within the church um, hierarchy, which might actually possibly shed a bit of light onto why you know you guys are so pissed off by the whole thing, uh, and why maybe maybe even you shouldn't be, or maybe you know maybe I shouldn't use the word shouldn't because that sounds like an order, but either way maybe it's in incorrect or inappropriate to have quite so much negativity against the whole organization. I mean obviously the church itself is strapped, strapped for staff and money, it wants people to do things for free, so sometimes they may put people who aren't vetted in positions of responsibility or authority, but people who've got a lot of zeal and energy maybe. That seems to be the issue. Because I went to this uh, deanery synod meeting, and in the de deanery synod meeting, this is when like uh, people from the church get information about this other dimension of the, of the whole organization. Uh, and how that then, uh, and then we then take that information and relate it back to the church committee and uh, parish church committee and help them to see all the other things which is um, happening and trying to, you know, get them involved in some of the great events which are like environmental, educational, so on and so forth. And of course to do with poverty and tackling poverty and the answers of the organization on a local level as well as on a national and international level to bigger issues. Okay. The most recent meeting was to do with ministry in schools, and then you're probably thinking, oh, you know, so screw you, I don't want to hear this, but you know, hear me out, hear me out. What I was struck by was the quantity of thought and planning that went into this, and of course the awareness amongst all the people concerned that this was a politically sensitive issue, and so there wasn't any proselytizing, okay, there wasn't any of that at all. It was just a question of allowing the children to come to their own conclusions. Sure, there was a telling of the story of JC, you know, the, the geezer who walks on water, okay, but there's also just an awful lot of contemplative, meditative, uh, fun, interactive things for the kids to use to uh, come to terms with staff and express staff and get things out of their system in a very sort of like socially appropriate way. So if you've gone to let's say a school and you've had like lots of like Bible thumping eccentric bullshit thrown your way, it's probably because that particular group of people had some rather unvetted people in it uh, and the unvetted people were sort of like let loose and hadn't you know gone through all the proper training and all the rest of it which could have made them like good quality people. However, it is of course possible that those in the higher up level within the local church hierarchy were in fact Looney Tunes and had come up with some very stupid ideas and wanted everyone to think stupid ideas and that's one of the reasons why they uh, why they were let loose, okay, because the, the Looney Tunes who affected you negatively and bullied you uh, were affected by other Looney Tunes as well, or they happened to be people who spent all their time uh, taking LSD and watching God.TV channel, uh, whatever, you know, occasionally you're going to get bad people in these environments, and no matter what sort of like aspects of the magical or new age world you're a part of or the you know pagan world or whatever it's probably going to seem like there's denominations and the rest of it and groups within those worlds that are just as bad because they still allow the occasional unvetted person to open you know open their mouth and the those who should be doing the vetting might also be relatively poorly educated and, and lack moderation and that could be a, one of the reasons for there being an issue going on okay so I just wanted to put that idea in the mix, make of it what you will, I don't really give a shit, I, I just care that I've 
hopefully given you a bit of a rambly video that may have helped you to see the whole issue as to why you've got issues with um, aspects of Christianity. Um, and, you know, at the moment, I mean, yes, of course, there's all the rest of those daft groups which use religion as a means to try and shore up the support for various different political parties or uh, economic interests or various different businesses. And that's pretty, pretty sick uh, and twisted. But that's, you know, it's only another, that's, that's just another, I suppose, layer of um, fuckwittedness, which is part of the whole... Uh, political reality of the world that we live in, no matter what sort of religious or political group you're a member of. Okay, there's, there's always stuff like that going on uh, in every political party, in every religious group, in every community center or social, you know, whatever. There's the more appropriate and the less appropriate. So, you know, Chillax. I mean, I'm pretty sure if paganism wanted to like really, really work well, it would have to come a bit more like what Anglicanism is trying to become like, if you know what I mean. And Anglican Anglicanism hasn't quite necessarily got there yet, but it's on its way. Chill out, keep cool. We're all the same. We're all one. Humans have got issues, and it's part of our role as humans to try and deal with those issues so that other people don't end up suffering from the same things which affected us negatively. Peace.